one of the most important construction material in civil engineering is cement whether it is your uh, brickwork or it is a bridge girder from rcc footing to column to beam roof slab everything whether it is a normal building or a high st uh, strength bridge everywhere the one and only component which is must that is cement so what is cement actually cement is a, a powder type material and you can say it act as an adhesive and cohesive material what it is uh, does actually uh, in concrete in concrete you have three component one is cement another are sand and stone so what does cement do actually cement act as a binding material it binds the solid particle together and form the compact durable mass so that's why in engineering cement act as a binding material which actually binds your fine particle that means the sand and coarse particle means the stones together to form the compact durable mass known as concrete but how if powder a powder type material how can do this okay so normally what happens in addition of water without water cement is just like a powder but when you add water in cement some reaction happens and this cement solidify how this happens we will discuss in few minutes later but this is the basic things cement normally is a powder type material and when you add water in it some reaction happens and some compounds are formed and this powder type material solidify okay and that's why this type of cement which solidify in addition of water is known as hydraulic cement okay in this discussion in this videos we will discuss all the topic related to hydraulic cement only there is a non hydraulic cement also for example uh, plaster of paris this is not commonly used for heavy structural uh, element so our total discussion will be limited to hydraulic cement only so why the name hydraulic cement because all the properties which is desired that means the strength uh, the durability everything comes only after addition of water okay now our first type of hydraulic cement is ordinary portland cement or also known as opc so what is this what is ordinary portland cement and why the name is such that means why it is known as your uh, portland cement okay how cement is formed there are some basic material which are known as argillaceous and calcareous what is this argillaceous means the material which contain alumina and silica in case of brick you have seen that silica is the main component which is uh, come from your clay similarly here is also silica plays a very vital role so argillaceous material alumina and silica take some argillaceous material for example clay and take some calcareous material for example lime why calcareous actually lime is a source of calcium oxide and calcareous materials means which contain calcium oxide so take some clay which contains silica alumina and take some calcareous material or lime which contains calcium oxide then you mix it in some certain proportion and you burn it uh, almost near about uh, 1400 to 1500 degree centigrade in a clean okay so in this temperature when you burn this mixture the calcination process occur due to the fusion in this temperature okay and after this calcination some uh, clinker clinker means uh, you can say mm, some boulder type material uh, which is formed after this process is formed okay so this clinker is formed after calcination at a high temperature of this material that means argillaceous that is your clay and 
calcareous your lime okay so when this clinker has been produced these are boulder type material then you have to smash it or pulverized it Sim the both are similar things so when you pulverize or smash it it becomes very fine and this is known as your ordinary portland cement okay but now the question is why it is known as portland cement so this clinker or the boulder type material which have been formed after the calcination process it is quite similar to one type of stone okay which type of stone a similar type of stone which is quarried from a place named portland which is situated in uk so this clinker similar to this stone which is obtained from portland in uk and their properties are also similar how clinker if is mixed with water it becomes hardened and the stone is also become hardened in addition of water that's why this type of cement is known as portland cement okay now there are different type of portland cement okay so what are they normally in market you can find three type of portland cement so based on which these three types are uh, classified or classifications are made based on their strength what strength cement is used only for strength so all type of your classification or differentiation is based on strength only so first type of ordinary portland cement or the abbreviation you can use is opc opc is 33 grade what is 33 grade we'll discuss later next is 43 grade and last one is 53 grade normally in market nowadays 53 grade opc is available because each and everywhere each and every sector we need more strength using less material okay that is economical that's why we always go for high strength cement though it has some limitation disadvantage we'll discuss later so for right now there are three types of opc first one is 33 grade second one 43 grade and 53 grade okay so what is this these are strength which strength if you make some specimen there are certain specification as per guideline of different code in different country so if you can maintain that specification and make some specimen a cubical specimen okay which is formed by using sand and this opc cement okay you mix sand and opc cement in certain proportion as per relevant code or standard now you add some water and after making the paste you make some cube and you cure cure it cure means for hydration of cement what is hydration of cement we will also talk at talk about it so after hydration of 28 days you check the compressive strength okay you check the compressive strength and based on that you get this strength so for 53 grade after 28 days of hydration you will get 53 mp strength of that specimen so based on this criteria normally the opc is classified there are certain other things we will discuss about this during the lecture of test of cement